I'm Ijun Trishalin. I'm 2017-2018 a a Senior Fulbright Scholar, um, and I teach post-colonial feminism at uh, National Donghua University in the College of Indigenous Studies. And I'm professor and director of uh, women's studies at Southern Connecticut State University. I'm a multilingual teacher scholar of comparative and global women's and gender studies. As such, I propose to teach um, a course, a graduate course, at the National Donghua University in its prestigious College of Indigenous Studies. Um, due to its uh, curricular need, I was able to actually offer a course in post-colonial feminism. When I teach women's studies and gender studies, what I teach is about big ideas in the world. Well, I take teaching uh, to be something a lot more beyond the interaction in the classroom. My interactions with the students, with the colleagues in the class, because I do have more than just graduate students in class, I have uh, three colleagues actually sitting in. Um, I've been hearing words like um, or uh, uh, in my class. I take them to be really meaningful and significant that students are um, feeling inspired and um, and starting thinking seriously about what they want to pursue, um, not just in post-colonial feminism, but also in their academic pursuit in life. My proposal did not just arrive from the year I applied. I actually, it's about a 10-year project. I started thinking seriously about spending some time in Taiwan working with the scholars here uh, in 2006 when I visited the College of Indigenous Studies, National Donghua University, my hosting institution, I was very inspired by what I saw, um, the kind of um, knowledge production, the kind of a scholarly exchange, the generation, the, the creation of uh, indigenous knowledge. I have been uh, networking with uh, colleagues that I know here and we have been um, putting together some very vibrant programs on indigenous feminism in Taiwan. Uh, we have just completed a uh, day-long uh, conference called Nandao um, Nui Taiwan Indigenous Feminist Empowerment um, Workshop. In addition, I should add that I also carry with me uh, to Taiwan a several book projects including transnational indigenous feminism and North American Asian feminism. One of my goals coming to Taiwan is really brushing up on my academic Mandarin. And I would say that's my uh, challenge. That's one of my challenges. And with the help of my students and my colleagues, I'm gaining fluency. I don't often have to stop and think, well, how do you translate this? Um, instead, I'm, I know how to say homophobia in Mandarin. I know how to say hip hop, rap, um, activism. I would still say, you must go to Taiwan. Taiwan is more than the, the slogan, heart of Asia. Taiwan is the heart of the world. It's got some of the best uh, things anyone would want when one travels. Very uh, wonderful people. Um, if anyone worries about traveling without any knowledge of Mandarin, I would say worry not. Because everywhere you go, people would do their best to actually you know, show you around. Most of all, Taiwan, in my view is the um, is one of the most vibrant democracies in the world they have to come here and experience taiwan mm -hmm.